Hello everyone, my name is Stephanie Hylinski. I'm the curator of live animals here at the Boone Shop Museum. And I'm here on our Minmark Discovery stage. And today I have with me King, our Eastern Box Turtle. And Eastern Box Turtles are native here in Ohio. They're one of my personal favorite native species. If you ever wanna see them, a lot of times you can see them at metro parks, maybe even in our own backyard. Usually they're found in wet, kind of marshy forested areas. But even though they are turtles that live on the land, they're not actually tortoises. And we'll talk a little bit, we'll meet our tortoise and talk about how he's different from a turtle. But if you look closely at King, we can tell that he's not a very good swimmer, especially by looking at his feet. So especially these back feet, if he was a water turtle or a swimming turtle, he would have a lot more webbing between his toes and his feet would be shaped a lot more like paddles to help him swim. If you ever tried to swim with your fingers spread out, you're not going to swim very fast. King is not going to swim very fast with these long claws here, no webbing between his toes. So even though he is not a water turtle, he's still not a tortoise. Eastern box turtles are land turtles. So they live here in Ohio in the metro parks and in forested areas. And they are omnivores, so they eat plants and animals, usually things like mushrooms, berries. Um, they also love worms, insects, roadkill. They are not too picky about what they like to eat for dinner. So if you ever find a box turtle, you don't need to put them in water. They are very, very poor swimmers. They do like puddles of water, shallow pools of water, but you would never want to put a box turtle in a deep pool of water or river or somewhere like that. All you need to do if you see one in the road, something like that, pick them up like a sandwich, move them over to the other side of the road, I will say getting bit by a turtle is not fun, but this is not a snapping turtle. And if you hold him by his shell, he cannot bite you or can't hurt you at all. So this is King, our box turtle. He's not a tortoise. And we're going to meet Segundo here in just a second and see how he is different. All right, so we just talked about King, our Eastern box turtle. Remember, he's a land turtle, but not technically a tortoise. While here, we have our desert tortoise, Segundo. Now, if you called Segundo a turtle, you're not actually wrong because tortoises are a special type of turtle. But if you call him a tortoise, you're just a little bit more correct. Um, so Segundo here is a desert tortoise, and these, this species lives in the Sonoran and Mojave deserts in the Southwest United States. And one really interesting um, adaptation they have is they spend most of their lives underground in burrows. So scientists think they spend about 95% of their lives underground in burrows because it gets so hot during the daytime in the desert. And the areas where they live, it can get up to 120 degrees during the daytime. But if you go underneath the ground just a couple feet, it'll be quite a bit cooler and that's how they beat the sun in the desert. Now, the biggest way you can tell a tortoise from a turtle are their feet. And Segunda's thinking about eating a blueberry, so we'll see if he might want to eat it at some point. But if you look at his feet, especially these front feet here, I like to say they kind of look like elephant feet. So they have these really big club-shaped feet. Unlike the box turtle, he doesn't really have sharp claws on his toes. He just has more kind of um, kind of dull nails to help him dig and kind of move the sand and move the ground around. So that's probably the easiest way to tell a tortoise from a turtle. So if you think about all of those big tortoises you see at other zoos, Galapagos tortoises, Socata tortoises, tortoises are usually quite a bit bigger than turtles. The biggest turtles that we get are the sea turtles, so they live in the water. But if you see Galapagos tortoises, any of those really big tortoises are tortoises and not actually turtles. And if you look closely at them the next time you see them, you'll notice those big club-shaped feet. And Segundo here is a little bit younger than King. So King's about 40 years old. Segundo is around 22, 23 years old. We're not exactly sure on King's exact age. He was a rescue from the wild. But Segundo here was actually hatched at the Indianapolis Zoo back in 1997. So we know his exact age. Um, some of our animals, we do know that. Some other animals that we don't, like our animals that were rescued from the wild. And another difference between tortoises and turtles is Segundo here has a rather flat shell, but tortoises a lot of times have a taller shell. So their shell is a lot of times a little bit more domed than a turtle shell would be. And tortoises are also more herbivorous. So tortoises are herbivores. They eat plants and um, turtles are omnivores. So usually turtles eat plants and animals. Some of the sea turtles are more carnivores, um, but tortoises are herbivores. So that's another difference between tortoises and turtles and tortoises always live on land. So we talked about with King the box turtle that it can live, um, that turtles can live in the water or on land, but tortoises strictly live on land. And a lot of them, like the desert tortoise, spend a lot of their time underneath the ground. All right, and remember, if you call Segundo a turtle, you're not wrong, but if you call him a tortoise, you're just a little bit more accurate and a little bit more correct. Thank you guys so much for joining me today and have a great rest of your day.